Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're doing this a little bit different. You can't see the screen, but I can. What you have up here is a small little area that this particular screen recorder allows me to record in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a telephone call. Now this will benefit many of you because this is going to let you know that if you follow the process and if you are determined and if you stick to your guns and don't allow the general responses you get back from these idiots to sway you, that things can work out. This is regarding a recent, I mean, not last year, this year, $23,000 discharge of an automobile payment. Well, the balance of the automobile that the individual has only had for less than two years. Okay? $23,000 from a $26,000. Well, he said that he purchased it for twenty six, dollars but he owed about $23,000 when you get all the interest and the fact that they were accumulating charges and so on and so forth. Where all of that is taken care of. Now, mind you, I'm also playing this because there's a lot of you guys think that I got a lot of time. So the reason why we have this little window up here is because this is going to be playing in the background. You're going to have to adjust your volume because I got this all the way up. Now let's turn it down. You ain't got to adjust your volume. I'll adjust it here. This way you'll be able to hear it comfortably, but the other way it'll be loud. And so you just have to want to have no problem hearing it. It's going to start off with uh, Maxwell. He sings a, uh, a song, Symphony Unknown. And so that's my ringtone now for a couple of months and then I'll, or weeks or days or whatever, whenever I feel like changing it, I'll change it. But at the beginning, you're gonna hear me tell him it's about time. Why? Because he called me the other day, then called me back, then I called him, we've been playing phone tag and he said he had something to tell me. Well, now you're gonna hear what he had to tell me. I have people telling me leaving me messages talking about, oh, how they got something important to tell me. And then when I talk to them, all they want to do is ask me questions about process and how to take care of something they already done. Notice how this individual doesn't do it one time. Notice how he doesn't ask me, how does he do this? And how does he do that? How he says, well, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this. He says what he's going to do without asking me, what do you think I should do next? Okay because I get tired of that. I am not your cushion to come and sit and lay your head on talking about, can you tell me how to live my life and, 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 and tell me how, how what, what, what my next step should be and, 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 and what, what I should eat for dinner? Oh God, can you tell me how to talk and, and what my next words would be? I'm tired of people asking me for advice on every single thing on this planet. Stop it, because you're not going to get an answer. Trust me, ask the people who tried and see how they haven't gotten an answer. Had one guy told me that he had the parts that I was missing, the secrets about the infinite state, called me, told me he had this. And then when I talked to him, I'm telling him how to handle his stuff, but he ain't told me now one thing. Pay attention. Now one thing about what he claimed that he was contacting me for. And I haven't spoke to him since. He's tried to call me at least six times, trying to get more information, and he won't get any more information from me because I don't like being played. So people, stop it. And yes, I gave him a little bit of information, but I gave him just enough to make sure he understood that he wasn't gonna get nothing else and that with the little bit I gave him, it was only enough to get started. Sorry, not enough gas to get to the gas station, just enough gas to get you off the highway so that you'll be out of danger, but not enough gas to get to that gas station. Uh -uh, I'm not going to do that, y'all. Y'all not going to rob me of my extra fuel to take care of y'all business. So without any further ado, because that's 17 minutes of me telling y'all everything that's going on, let's play the call. Uh -huh. Took you long enough. Hey, man. I told you. I'm sorry. Okay. I used to smoke that stuff, too. I know what that junk can do to you. 
Okay, I know. So it's all right. I, I, I understand. Okay, as long as you understand. Okay, because if, if, if there ain't nothing else on this planet I know how to do, it's to understand. Okay, yes, you do. And yeah, you do I it well. And, car, I feel for you. And you, and you. and you explain well. And so I just called to give you a, a praise report, a good testimony, man, of, you know, things I learned from you. And, um, I had a, a set, another vehicle, my um, Infinity. So I threw the administrative process. You got an Infinity? You... I got an yeah. Infinity. An I-30. Okay. An I-30? Yep. That's, is that like a coupe or just a no, coupe? Four-door. Uh, four-door. Okay. Four-door, okay. sunroof, electric, well. everything. And, and you, you don't have to use the music because you use your iPhone or whatever. I, you gotta believe it. You gotta believe it. I don't even know what a radio is anymore. <laughs> good deal. Good deal for you. So what we what what I did is um and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take you back to your some of your initial um money orders or the, the one uh, it's probably back in 2012. So it has to be um, 2012 because I haven't really done much after that. Right. Um, so anyway, um, so I sent them, and, and it's funny because I, I didn't do it on any uh, bond paper or um, you don't have to. check check paper. I just did it on a regular eight by eleven. Okay, and put all the pertinent information in there, and with a with a letter because I, I did the asking for a payoff balance and all that kind of stuff, and so I sent it to them. They sent me back everything that I sent them, the, the originals, right? Mm-hmm. And she enclosed, uh, we're returning your payment and correspondence for these reasons marked below. And the reasons just says, uh, please send in regular uh, money order or check, right? Mm-hmm. So they didn't give me any de- deficiencies or defects or anything in that nature. So um, I hadn't gotten to the tender payment information yet in terms of uh, bringing that to their attention. So... The next one I sent them, I sent them a treasury direct item bill of exchange. This is a, this is your improved one, okay? Um, now this one is on uh, the um, document for, that has the security features in the, in the paper and stuff. So I got a money order, um, Unicitrel, um, and and all that information with the a reference uh, offer acceptance pledge beneficiary. Okay. So you don't so, have to explain anyway. everything to the man who did the process. Who put I know, the I know. I've been, I've been trying to, I've been I trying to, I've been trying to. I because it seems like you're trying to tell me how to do the process. I am not. really trying to understand why in the, are you trying to tell me how to do something that I didn't I'm told not. you how to do and you told me at the beginning of the call that you were doing it based on what I told you how to do. So what, what you guys, what you're listening to is he was doing all that explaining to me to help me understand what he was doing when he originally said that he followed my process. So he's telling me how to do the process that he was doing as if I needed to know all of that stuff, wasted my time. Told him I didn't have a lot of time. That's why he laughing because he sees how ridiculous it is. But watch how we gonna have that same conversation again. And I said, y'all been listening to me for 17 minutes. Y'all wasn't listening to me no stupid 17 minutes. This this call is 17 minutes. Y'all only been on this call eight minutes. Hold on now. I, my mind is sitting up here going, what? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so I do understand. Okay, so I sent them, okay, the, the second correspondence was sending them, I think, this. Yeah. And it actually was a notice of default, final uh, conditional acceptance offer, remedy, uh, settlement, adjustment, uh, and set off, and discharge. Here. Right. You're okay. Still explaining right. the stuff to me. Okay. So, 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 she sent me. Okay. So, she sent me. I'm just telling you. She sent me this back. Okay. So, she, I really am trying to hold up, but they make it. <laughs> <laughs> your son told us to continue to put up with one another. But this could not with one another. It's not as easy as y'all make it. <laughs> uh, see, y'all didn't hear what I said. I was talking to my God out loud, and I said, Jehovah, Jehovah, you and your son told us to put up with one another, but this putting up with one another isn't as easy as y'all made it seem. Okay, that's why you're laughing. 
Thanks a lot, man. I had I had to put you on hold. I had another call come in. Okay. Go ahead and put me on hold. Lord have mercy. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I apologize. So, <laughs> okay, so the the they she sent me all that back, right? So the next one was uh and that was I, did, I said uh, after David, um, let's see, the notice of violation of debt, uh, notice of violation of debt, discharge of debt after David. I sent that. And then I sent the, because she didn't respond to that, and I said it's been a, over 120 days since you, I sent you this notice and you received this after David. You have failed to respond. So this one I sent, an after David notice of legal action intent to sue. So, um, they then responded to say, well, you know, uh, I also sent uh, uh, within the uh, Eon one of those uh, uh, closed checking account checks. Okay. So I sent them two. So all in all, I think I sent them about five negotiable instruments, right? And of course, I got all this. I got you. Yeah. So anyway, so um, so then they, they try to still, you know, work it out. Say, well, we can resume payments. I said, so no. So then they sent a letter uh, for repossession. So in this in this letter that I put after David notice of legal action and intent to sue, I, you forfeited you know any alleged rights because you have not proven validation. So um, when they sent that, then someone put a card in my door, uh, a repossession uh, company. So I kind you know fear jumped on me, right? Did you, did you get afraid? Say it again. Did you get afraid? Yeah, I got a, I, I fear jumped on me. I'm, I'm being honest with you. You know I'm trash man. So. Come on, man. I'm telling you. So, um, I, I, I parked a car around the block, you know, in the oh, neighborhood. Yeah, man. So then I said, you know, the Lord told me, he said, hey, um, then I go come and get this vehicle. And besides, before before they did all this, before they sent the repossession, the Lord said, they're not going to kind of get this. They're not going to get this. So I said, okay. But then I was tested. When, when the repossession uh, guy came and dropped his left, uh, card off, Fear jumped on me, <clears throat> and so I was doing all that. And I said, you know what? The Lord told me then I come and get it. I'm gonna start standing at word. I'm trying to park in my car in front of the the, the house and everything. Uh, New Year's come, uh, you know, and and I'm, I'm still parking my car. And next thing I know, this week, no, was it this was last week? Um, I I go through Equifax, not Equifax, but a uh, car, karma, uh, credit karma, credit karma, yeah, credit karma, and they send you notices and stuff. But I saw. Just in brief, you know, it said uh, something about your credit scores went up 54 points. I said, what? Huh? 54 points. So, mind you, in my mind, I was I was ready. I was in the process of probably trying to get a, um, a, a default judgment, okay, with all the information I have. I, I didn't put it together yet, but I started thinking in my mind I had to overcut. Anyway, so I looked down on my email, and I see 54 points go up. I said, what is this about? I look in there, man. And it, it reads in my credit on the Carmax. Uh, you have paid a hundred percent of this. What is this debt or whatever this account? Um, zero balance, highest amount um, twenty five thousand. And then I look. I said, this is, "Well, this can't be true." And, and, and you know, I'm looking at it. And so I, I looked at other information, compared it, and it said. Um, Dispute, they just say dispute settled, customer disagreed. Yeah, I think it said something like that. Yes, dispute settled in there. claim with the credit bills. Yeah, well, did I do that? You must have because you filed a dispute. That's why they said dispute settled. Yeah. Okay, so if you filed a dispute. I don't remember you, doing no, quite I'm, honestly. I'm ask you what you remembered. Did you hear me say, do you remember filing a dispute? <laughs> I know for a fact that you did not hear me ask you, do you remember? Okay, okay. man. <laughs> Lord so, have mercy. See, Jehovah, so what I, I did, really am trying. <laughs> so what I did, man, I said, okay, Lord, you know, you're really blessing me. So I compared other credit that I had, like automobiles, where, like, the one I, one of them I had, it's past seven years. And it says, uh, zero balance and whatever, it hires that. And then it says, um... 
hard to collect something about debt, hard to collect the debt or whatever delinquent debt and, and that's and that, those are marks. And there was another one I thought I could pay. I said, wow, okay, so this thing is paid off. You know, um, hey, let me tell you also what I did. You didn't I, I, my go, question. I said, how much was the total amount? Oh, you think I got all day? Oh, put out, you don't. Know, 25. <laughs> Twenty five thousand something dollars. This is about twenty five thousand something dollars. The total dollars. amount for paying off that car was twenty five thousand dollars, right? Yeah, it was twenty five thousand eight ninety one eighty six. And after you paid the twenty five thousand, or no, after you paid all whatever you paid up to this day, they were coming at you to get the whole car. Um, they they did they just put a letter on a, a, a repossession thing in there and. My question to him was regarding the fact that if it was $25,000 in its own an infinity that he had, I didn't know how long he had the car. So I assumed he only had the car for probably 10, 11 years, $25,000, and he only owed a couple more payments on it. So I assumed he'd already made years worth of payments, and that's why you're going to hear me say the next part. No one came. Yeah, but they were coming for the whole car, even though you had made payments all this time. No, no. Hear what I'm saying? I did it through this administrative process. This, no, no, you're not. You me. When did you purchase the car? When did you first get the car? Oh, I see what you said. Yeah. Um, yeah, back oh, in oh, the... Now you understand. So why are you got me repeating myself? <laughs> Do you see, see, Jehovah, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> April, April 7, 2016. <laughs> Lord have mercy. No, I think there was, was so yeah, was something like that. Oh, on the car when you first... Gave them their money orders. What was the one that you owed? Oh, well, uh, it may have been twenty-three something. Okay, so you just get got rid of a twenty-three thousand dollar debt because you figured, oh, what the hey, I ain't got nothing better to do, so I'm gonna do it this way. Did I did I say that about right? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I was influenced by you. I was influenced by you, you and, and you, you, I'm gonna try this because I ain't got nothing better to do. I can't afford <laughs> to be paying these fools. I ain't no, so no, I it was no, it was natural. it, it was it was my belief and understanding that uh, they were paid initially when we signed the promissory note. Okay, and how can you know, we continue to do this. Um, and so as, as I continued to, to research and as best I could and understood, I, I applied what I understood and believed that, you know, I would be able to uh, have this discharged in, in that manner. Okay. Uh, my first vehicle that I tried, it didn't now, happen. I'm I, going to okay. do this so that you, you do all right. Okay. It is two puffs and then you pass. Okay. <laughs> You're going to cause yourself a lot of trouble by being selfish and stingy and greedy. That's called gluttony. So you can't be consuming all of it to yourself. Okay? I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, I told him I was going to give him some advice. I, the advice was it's two puffs, puff, puff, and pass. Told him because he is sitting up there trying to consume it all by himself and keep it to himself that's being greedy. That's gluttony and that's being selfish. Told him he's going to cause himself a lot of problems. So that's why he's laughing, just in case y'all didn't hear it. Um. <laughs> All right. So it is not you're following what I said, because I only gave you guys the laws, but you have no idea the amount of people that are continuing to call me and tell me this. And tell me that. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take this recording and put it so she ain't said your name. I'm gonna take this recording and I'm gonna put it on the net so that everybody and their grandmama can hear what you did, and so that everybody and their grandmama can understand what I go through in these calls for people calling me. I want the whole world to know. I want the world to know. I want like everybody and their grandfather to understand <laughs> this is what we put him through and 
we wonder why he gets upset and mad and yelling at the computer screen and, and, and playing music in the background to relax himself. So don't say nothing else. Don't say no names or nothing because I'm going to play this for the world to hear because they hey, don't know because as I told you, I'm busy working on a lady's motion for her court case, but thank you for the information so that everybody else can hear what you did, okay, and how you tried to explain the process to me. Okay? Now, y'all know what I was trying to do. Y'all know oh, now, I was now, trying to Now you want to sit up there and correct the record. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You can, you can sit up here and try to backpedal and clean things up all you want. Because they already know who I am. I got my piece out. Yeah, he got they his piece not out. listen I, to you because you already told it, them you did all this because you listened to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they heard me talking to Joel. Hey, hey, man. Way, the... You said God told you they ain't coming after that car. Well, God should have warned you in advance of calling me how this conversation was going to go. Oh, don't, don't get choked up now. <laughs> okay. This conversation, this conversation is going exactly how I want it to. Uh, you're hilarious. Oh, this is how you wanted the conversation to go. Okay, so the next time you call me, I just get to send you to file 13. <laughs> no, no. It can't do that, man. No, because I got to give you what you want. The rule is give the people no, what they want. Not, no, that's not what I want. I don't that want is file exactly 15. what you told me you wanted. You wanted me to do that. That's just what's going on, uh, floor 13 in the building. I'm going to give you your full face, and I'm going to give you your credit. <laughs> hey, man, you the man, dog. I'm serious. You, uh, no, I just, I'm the man I just, sitting next to the man, sitting next to the man, <laughs> sitting next to the man, sitting next to the man, sitting next to the uh, man that called that a mother, okay? That's who I am. Shut your mouth. Robin Harris was a genius. <laughs> All right. So let me let you okay. go because I do have to finish this lady's uh, paperwork because I've been distracted. And because I've been answering the phone, it's been causing the motions not to be harmonized. So I'm going to have to. All right. Well, I, so I, can I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Well, there you go. You got to pay off $23,000. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now and now I'm going to continue. Continue to share with people as I learn. So well, go in peace, brother. All you did was <laughs> got rid of a government obligation, and there there could have been ways for you to do it a whole lot smoother, but you just got rid of a government obligation. All right. Hey, I, I got that. I'm glad you. Oh, man, you the man. I'm telling you. <laughs> go and do your thing, man. I already know you ain't got to tell me. I don't know why you keep trying to tell me stuff that I already know. Lord, I know you're the smartest. You're the smartest man you know. <laughs> you better believe I am. I am G A. Okay. Hey, man, go do your go do the motion, man. <laughs> I am a. Oh, I said G A. I mean A G. I mag. I'm a genius. Okay. Uh, oh, this I'm so I mag. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, man. Yes, sir. Take care, brother. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an unscripted, unpracticed, unprepared conversation. But as you heard, all he did was he did the process that we told all of you to do. You simply send them a payment. Doesn't matter whether they accept it or not. We've already showed you the laws that says it doesn't matter whether they consider it to be a proper payment or not. They don't get to determine that. It's a government obligation. They are to take it to the treasury and discharge it. If they refuse, then you send proof that you've sent a payment to them and you challenge them and you do exactly what he did. If you want to know how to do it, go back and listen to what he said he did and then follow the steps. He got rid of $23,000. As he said, his credit score bumped up by 54 points as a result of this. Okay? That's how he knew that it was cleared. He didn't get a letter in the mail or nothing. But that's how he knew it was cleared. 
and because he didn't give in or give up and add all of that dumb language that so many other people add in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 25 minutes worth of telling you how somebody paid off a debt. Have a good day. Oh, and you're welcome.